Today we are going to learn how to use the efficient uh, model in order to classify uh, images. Basically, we are going to use these functions, this uh, pre-trained model in the Keras under uh, TensorFlow. So as you can see, the efficient has several versions, B0 until B7, and each of the versions has a different input resolution image. So we will take a, a, an image of a, a Shih Tzu, of a Shih Tzu dog, and we'll try to classify uh, this image. The efficient uh, model uh, is pre-trained using the ImageNet. That means that he has the ability to classify 1000 uh, different uh, classes. And we will do some coding in order to predict a, an image, a new fresh image of a Shih Tzu dog, as I mentioned earlier. And we will uh, test this, uh, this model. So let's start with uh, importing uh, several uh, Python uh, libraries. Of course, we will uh, import the efficient uh, model. Let's also import uh, OpenCV. And also we will use the, the image, uh, the image classes and functions uh, under the, the Keras uh, environment. We will also use uh, some functions uh, from the NumPy uh, Python library. And let's start. So first of all, we are going to uh, define a, a variable for our model. We will use the efficient uh, function and the base will be ImageNet. So now this model has the ability to classify 1000 images. This will be our test image, a Shih Tzu dog, and Let's use the OpenCV in order to load the image using the imread uh, function. I can see I have a syntax error in, with the function name, so let's fix it in both places. Okay, now we can load the model and we can run and see what is the shape of our image. As you can see, uh, we have a shape of 1600 by 1200 so we have to reshape it we have to resize it to the requirements of the efficient uh, model as i mentioned earlier earlier it should be 224 by 224 so now we are generating a, a new variable named image and this variable will contain our resized image once again let's bring the shape as now, as you can see, it's 224 by 224 by three. Three are the channels, red, green, and blue. Next, we are converting our image to a NumPy array. And next, we are going to add one more dimension to our image, like creating it as a batch of images that contain only one image. And now we are ready to predict our image using the predict function. Afterwards, let's print the results that stored in the pred uh, variable. As you can see, we have 1000 results. What are these 1000 results? Basically, these are predictions for 1000 classes of the ImageNet dataset. Okay, next we have to extract the prediction that has the highest score. The class that has the highest score is the one that indicates the prediction of the image. So there are several ways uh, to do it. We can use the NumPy function uh, argmax, but here in this tutorial, we are going to use another function called decode prediction. And uh, this function has the ability to, to run like a for loop inside all the thousands prediction. And if we use the top equals one as an argument, it will extract the for loop will run only once and extract the best score. So let's run it. Let's see the result. Uh, I have a syntax error. Uh, I have to fix the name of the function. Let's run it again. And now, as you can see, it's, it's a Shih Tzu with a prediction score of 0.7 for sever cool so now let's uh, uh, add one more uh, coding let's say uh, put that the description the, the sheet to description uh, on top of the the image and let's 
show the events along with the prediction. We will use the put text function, has several uh, arguments like the, the image, the description, the position of the text, the font, the, the color which will be black, and let's use the I'm show in order to present the image with the text uh, on the top of the image. Let's run it. As always, I will leave in the video description a link for this code. So you can see the result. Here's the sheet to text. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. See you in my next videos. Bye bye.